I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Chair. It's a pleasure to rise and talk on this committee stage on this Wellington Town Belt Bill. And the member in the chair uh, had canvassed quite broadly the history and purpose of, of this piece of legislation. And I'd just like to take the opportunity now to acknowledge again that unless there have been some sudden change of heart, and I don't think there is across the House, uh, this is a bill that does uh, have broad support, in fact, unanimous support across the House. I think Mr Robertson is to be congratulated uh, for the work he's done to shepherd this and to be commended for his perseverance here sponsoring a bill on behalf of uh, the Wellington City Council uh, that, is, that is, is going to receive uh, unanimous support. And the reason I say these things, and we can be completely non-partisan about this, sir, because taking the liberty that Mr Robertson took, I'll talk a little bit about why this town belt bill is so important. Because as we know, and we can all acknowledge in this House, Wellington is without question the finest city of That's all right. of New Zealand. Oh, uh, and in doing so, we're going to protect a very important part of our city and what now. makes our city uh, the city that it is, which is that green belt. I mean, there are many great things about Wellington. There are the interesting and challenging elements of a hillside city. There is the beautiful harbour. There is just sufficient airflow to keep the pollu air pollution away. It is indeed a great city to inhabit and for some colleagues across the House to visit from week to week. The Town Belt Bill, uh, Town Belt has been a long feature of our city. It's been a long, a good showcase, actually, for the central the heart of the city. And to remind us all that while we might dwell and work in, uh, in the concrete jungle, such that it is, uh, we enjoy, as all New Zealanders do, the green outdoors and, and the general pure nature of New Zealand. So I'm extremely pleased that this bill is going to receive endorsement across the House, because I do believe that that town belt is not only a feature of Wellington, it is something that we should treasure and that we should protect. Uh, the part in the, in the bill, a particular clause I wanted to refer to, was around uh, clause 23. The bill originally introduced was going to provide some carve-out uh, mechanisms from the Public Works Act. Uh, and while I don't cast any aspersions at all on the, peop on, on the council or any others uh, in the drafting of the original bill, I do think that it is a far better bill for uh, removal of those carve-outs and, and uh, providing protection to the town belt, but meaning that, but also ensuring that where there are uh, requirements or desires that would ordinarily fall under the uh, aegis of the Public Works Act, that those, not only the ability to do so for roading, uh, most primarily, but also under the same terms and conditions for those same works anywhere else in the country, that it's important that they are maintained here as well. There's an odd thing, actually, in the bill, and like any bill or any potential piece of law, everything is open for interpretation. But certainly one reading of the original bill as it stood could have permitted, or could have been seen to have permitted, the Wellington City Council to negotiate to sell elements of the town belt had they chosen to, but having been required to object to any attempt to acquire it compulsory. Now, you might argue that you take a different view on that. It's just an oddity that, in, in terms of the bill that was meant to protect the town belt, that we might have a situation that would seem counter to, to the things that, that might have been intended. So the change to Clause 23, aside from ensuring that the Public Work Act's term, uh, provisions will apply, also remove that potential uh, source of interpretation, or some might say misinterpretation. So we'll be left uh, with a bill, I think, that achieves absolutely the purpose that Mr Robertson pointed out in his contribution, which is to protect this thing, which not only of beauty, but of a showcase of the Wellington city, uh, to ensure that it's more effectively, coherently and properly governed by bringing together all of the provisions of management and governance under a single act, rather than the separate... Um, pieces of legislation that currently exist. But also I would share Mr Robertson's point about the ability to add to the town belt. I agree with him that uh, introducing about 140 hectares additional land to begin with is a wonderful thing. Uh, but what we have is effectively struck a balance in the clause uh, amendments that I referenced that, that will mean that the Public Works Act and compulsory acquisition will still apply, is balanced by the fact that the Council, the citizens of Wellington, still have the provision to add to this town belt should they choose to do so in the future. So I think 
Uh, we've seen a wonderful builder come to the house here. I call uh, Reno Chuck.